Today I'm gonna to be talking about my personal setup for when I off body carry. And for me that really just means uh, when I'm at the gym. So a lot of times I'll go to the gym straight from work and then I'm just wearing my regular clothes. So I'm, I'm a web developer and my dress is pretty casual. A lot, most of the time I'm wearing a t-shirt and some kind of tactical pants actually with a belt uh, and my normal carry setup. Um, and then I'll just go to the gym in that and I'll wear that and I'll carry and everything will be just like it is normally except I'll be at the gym. Uh, but at least half the time I come home first, get my wife and then we go to the gym together. Uh, when I do that, I usually switch into, switch into like gym clothes and then I'm not having a belt or anything like that. So I don't really like to do uh, different kinds of weird uh, holster setups that work with like gym pants and stuff like that. Uh, and I don't really like wearing a gun at the gym anyways because I'm reaching up, getting stuff, flashing my gun, bending over, doing all kinds of stuff. And it's just not as comfortable, it's not as convenient. I don't wanna worry about that, I just wanna work out. Um, there are also belly band setups, but I don't really, I'm not really into that. Um, so I just carry off body in a pack at the gym only. Um, so this is an Oakley extractor sling pack, I think, uh, in the olive color. Uh, and it, it works great for me. And I'll kind of get into the pack pretty in depth on the table. And I'll try to keep this video relatively short, but I'm sure I, I talk too much. So I'm sure it'll be like 10 to 15 minutes in the end anyway. Um, but so I have the sling pack. And there's a variety of ways to grab it over here. So obviously it's over the shoulder. Um, I can wear it on one shoulder, which I do sometimes, but this is how I usually I'll just toss it over and on. Um, and I apologize if my mic picks up noise and movement, uh, whatever. So I, I pull this over and I can get this over in front of my body here. And that's important for a couple things. One is my gun is in here. So as I pull this over, I can access my gun and I clear this beforehand so it's not loaded, so don't, don't freak out. So I can get, access my gun readily, quickly, safely, securely, and get to it. Uh, the other thing about what's going on in here is that I have a uh, little body armor panel. It's like a little side plate for like a plate carrier. So it's a small rectangular one, and that's in here. It's obviously not as big as a full-on uh, bulletproof vest, but it helps. And anytime I carry a bag, I'm like, might as well throw some armor in there. So I have armor in this little guy too, as well as a handful of other stuff. So I'll bring it over to the tabletop and break into it and kind of show you what all is in it. Uh, more or less just to give you ideas on how you might want to carry at the gym or anywhere else that you are doing off body carry. So I said I'd try to be quick. Um, so, you know, this is the pack I use. You could use whatever pack you want, but this is nice and compact. And I thought it looked pretty cool and has some pretty nice features. Um, so this is the back of the pack. Um, I don't know, maybe the front of the pack, but uh, as you're wearing it on your back, this is what people would see. Um, this is technically the back of the pack here with some padding, with some air channels and stuff, uh, a single strap messenger bag style that you can either hook onto this side or this side. And this has a kind of waist strap, secure strap type thing. Um, this is quick detach with a buckle. Sorry, it's kind of like black on black, hard to see. Um, so that buckle comes off here. This comes off with a clip here. So that's how you change the sides of the pack arm. Um, this has just got some padding in it, some Straps, obviously, to put anything on that you feel like strapping to your strap. A uh, D-ring um, has a side mesh pocket. Not really big enough for anything, but like a little 16 point whatever ounce uh, water bottle fit in there, but nothing bigger than that. Uh, and some more lashing on the bottom as well. This is my Anytime Fitness fob. And the other side has the uh, same thing, mesh and some straps here. This is a, a little Streamlight Micro Stream that I have on the back or on the side rather. And that's pretty much it for the exterior of the pack. You can put your cool guy uh, patches here on this Velcro panel if you want, um, but I don't have anything right now, but maybe I'll put something on there. Um, now this strap, this pack does uh, zip up all the way if you want it to. So let me try and focus here. The top of the pack, and I never zip it up all the way because it's kind of hard to uh, unzip quickly. 
but if you want to, you can zip it up all the way. How I use it is it's usually open up like that. The little top is open. So there's this grab handle here, or you can just grab the uh, inside of the pack. So what that looks like is when you open it, you just grab it and it just pulls right open. So this is on your back, pulls right open, lets you access whatever it is inside that you want. So inside this pack here, we have uh, my gun, obviously, pistol mag, knife, and those are kind of my quick access things. This is a G17 mag, this is a Glock 26, and this is a little Velcro removable pouch. And it has a little sunglasses pocket over here. And then these couple just mesh pockets here that I don't have anything in, but a lot of pockets. These little wings fold out, some more pockets over here, or one more pocket over there, and this wing on the other side here. On this side, I do have a Skeletool, just a standard Skeletool. If you watch my videos, you know I love this tool. I have them all over the place, uh, including my EDC on body. Um, in here, don't really have anything. I just have a lighter for whatever. And then this whole pack is Velcro, so I can just rip it off with this strap, but I don't feel like ripping it off and re-putting it on. Not that it's hard, but I don't feel like doing it. I have a rat's tourniquet in here and a small little first aid kit with some pills and some basic items. Uh, nothing too crazy, but there's plenty of room in here if you wanted to put like a full-on huge IFAC or whatever you want. Um, but I don't have much in mind. Uh, aside from that, I have this holster, which uh, I made. This is this like hex camo, I forget the pattern. And it's fancy, it has a uh, cryptic typhon on the back. And this is just Velcroed on here. So whatever kind of Velcro pouches or whatever you can put on there. Over here I have a uh, Kershaw Cryo um, Tonto. I forget if it's a Cryo or a Cryo 2. Uh, maybe I'll link to it in the description. Anyway, nice little uh, folder, assisted opener, and a 17 round Glock mag, like I said earlier. This gun and all my guns are loaded with Federal HST, 147 grain standard pressure. This little Velcro pouch is a little 511 like pen pouch type thing. Uh, I forget the model, but it's really made for like a little business card holder under here and to hold pens, but it fits a Glock mag. Would fit a single stack mag as well. Glock mag's a little tight in here and then could fit a pen or whatever. I just clip my uh, folder onto that bad boy. Uh, and then inside of here is like a little hydration pouch type thing. And this is where I keep some armor. So this is just uh, pistol rated, you know, flexible stuff. Uh, this is for, this is really a small, I think it's a six by eight. Yeah, six by eight side plate. Uh, this is from AR500 Armor. They don't send me free stuff like all the other channels. I actually just bought this myself. Um, but this is a little pistol plate. So it fits in here. Uh, perfectly. So as I demonstrated earlier, when I have it on my back, this is kind of a little lower. Uh, when I flip it around to the front, it is a pseudo uh, vest and it doesn't cover as much as I would like it to, obviously. It's just a little six by eight, but you know, fits nicely in this pack. Uh, adds virtually no weight, no bulk, so I figure might as well. Um, I kind of like if you've watched my other videos, I kind of like just having bulletproof stuff. My uh, EDC laptop bag has a panel in it. This has a panel in it. So I figure if I'm wearing a pack, might as well. Doesn't add too much extra weight. Uh, and I'm not going on long heights where uh, ounces really add up that much. So uh, that's really it for the pack. You could put other stuff in here. Actually, use, I have a, my headphones usually in here. I don't know why they're not in here right now, but headphones in here, you could put whatever gum and you could, you know, all you guys that go crazy with your EDC, you could get all kinds of stuff in here. Um, but that's my little load out, load out type thing um, that I use to carry at the gym. So that's it. I don't carry my normal gun and holster at the gym. It's a little too big. So this is my regular EDC setup. This is a Glock 19, 17 round mag, and a, um, I forget what this is actually, it's an Emerson uh, LeGriff is what it is. Little uh, neck knife technically, but I have it on here. I make holsters, uh, maybe I'll put some info down in the uh, video description about those, but this is just holster I make, uh, I make and sell them. But 
when I work out at the gym, I'm usually not wearing, sometimes I go straight from work and I do have this on and I'm just carrying it just like I carry it all day. Um, but if I come home and then go work out with my wife or something, I'll usually change into gym type clothes that don't have a belt uh, and I don't feel like hanging, having this hang off. Uh, and I don't feel like putting on like a belly band or something like that. So then really I just grab this bag and take it to the gym. Um, and I usually just drive to the gym and drive home. Occasionally I'll go, we'll go to the grocery store or something after and I'll just carry this bag in like a uh, man purse satchel style. Uh, normally I don't, <laughs> I just EDC whatever I have on my body. But occasionally if we go somewhere after the gym, I'll walk around with this bag on me because it is where I have my gun and I don't like to go anywhere without my gun just in case. Um, so that's it. That's my, uh, gym carry. Uh, when I'm at the gym, I just bring this bag with me everywhere. Uh, my gym is really not crowded. I live in the mountains now. There's only like one gym up here and it's a bunch of old people usually working out there. Um, but when they're not, I have this or not when they're not, but regardless, I would have this and I would just have it. If I'm working out at a bench or in a machine or whatever, I just have it there uh, right by my feet, uh, accessible, not worried about anyone stealing it or getting into it really. But you know, I, I don't know your particular situation or your gym setup or how shady it is. So you may be a little more worried about that uh, at your gym than I am about mine, but I'm not worried about having a pack right next to my uh, bench at all. So that's how I go. Um, and obviously, since this is a bag, you can imagine you could put as much stuff in here as you want and, you know, not really overload it. This is at like, I don't know, I feel like it's like a tenth capacity of what could fit in here. So I have a pretty light loadout and that's kind of how I roll, like pretty minimalist. Um, and aside from this purple dongle hanging off here, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and you know, I feel like me, looks do play a factor, sadly, in your purchases and the gear you use. So uh, if you're looking for a cool little pack that is actually packed full of features, check this one out. Um, I don't know if I, I, I forget where I bought this, but maybe I'll try and put a link to the description if you're looking for it. Um, all right, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, and I appreciate every like that goes on my video comments. I try to reply to pretty much all of them and I really appreciate you guys uh, support. Take care.